first you're going to very lightly with your pencil trace a circle. It's okay if you make some mistakes. You can erase. You want to keep the lines really light, so use your eraser to lighten up the lines a little bit. And then very softly, you're going to pencil in the highlight. That's the lightest area on the sphere. So in this step, you're going to use a little bit of charcoal to tone your paper a little bit. It's going to give it kind of one of your lighter values. It just helps speed up the process so you don't have to get all those middle tones with your pencil. Don't worry if it looks sloppy at first because you're going to use a paper towel to kind of blend it all together nice and softly. This step is totally optional. You can do this all with your pencil, but sometimes you just want to uh, move it along a little bit more quickly and this is how you would do that. Next, you're going to use your eraser to pull out that highlight area, that little circle of light that we mapped in at the top. And then you just take your pencil and you start very slowly. You're going to start building up your shadows or your levels of gray or your tones. You're going to use circular kind of strokes. You don't want to shade straight across and you don't want to use too big of a stroke because then you're going to get like lines in your shading. You want to keep it nice and soft and follow the contour of the form. Periodically you're going to turn your hand or turn your paper so that you could kind of get into the tooth of the paper. We're going to speed it up a little bit just for time's sake, but just notice how we're building up the grays very slowly. You don't want to get discouraged if it looks a little scratchy or it doesn't look even. It takes a little patience. Um, you have to go back in and layer and then press a little bit harder. It's definitely easier to get darker than it is to get lighter. So you want to err on the side of caution and keep your values kind of light in the beginning and then build up your darks as you go along. Now we're going to use what's called a blending tool. You want to make sure you use it very delicately and very softly. If you use your blending tool too much, you tend to smear all your values together and you lose that gradation from dark to light and all your middle tones become one gray. So you want to use it very, very, very softly just to blend some of your marks together and soften your edges a little bit, but you definitely don't want to overdo it. Now we're going to go ahead and use our eraser a little bit as a tool. Don't 
think of your eraser only as four mistakes, you can use your eraser to lighten up some of your values or to pull out some highlights or sharpen an edge. And then you can always go back over it with your blending tool or your pencil to get some of your value back. So we're getting ready to finish up the drawing and we're just adding a little bit of shadow in the background just to give it a little bit of like atmosphere to give it some depth and dimension so it's not a sphere up against the flat stark white background. So just kind of have fun with this step, shade it in, use your blending stump. You don't want it too dark or too light. And then when you're happy, that's it. Looks good.